Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Applications of Addressing Modes. Let us begin. First, let me tell you about the addressing modes. There is a video completely on the addressing modes and the types of addressing modes. Uh, so you can refer the previous video. Here I am giving you a brief introduction. See. When we are talking about the term addressing modes, it means it is a way in which the operand of an instruction is specified. Means operation, whenever any operation is to be executed, so that operation must be executed on some data. Data may be stored in the computer registers or memory walls. It means the way the operands are chosen during program execution is dependent on the addressing mode of the instruction. Alternatively, you can say the different ways of specifying the location of an operand in an instruction is known as a addressing modes. Computers use addressing mode techniques for the purpose of accommodating one or both of the following provisions. What are those provisions? To give programming versatility to the user the programming versatility means just by providing uh, such facilities as pointers to memory, counters for loop control, indexing for data and program relocation. And the second point, second provision is to reduce the number of bits in the addressing fields of the instruction. So either one or both of the provisions can be taken into the consideration. Now let us talk about the applications of addressing modes. First, immediate addressing mode. See, immediate addressing mode, it is used to initialize registers to a constant value. So this is the application. You must remember that in case of immediate addressing mode, the operand is specified in the instruction itself. If we talk about direct addressing mode and register direct addressing mode means here in the case of the register direct or direct means operands are in the registers which are residing within the CPU. It means the particular register is selected with the register field of the instruction. So here these two addressing modes are used to access static data or to implement variables. Next is indirect addressing mode or register indirect addressing mode. When we are talking about this, it means the content of registers specifies the address of the operand in the memory. Right? So operand in the memory. So this particular case or these addressing modes are used to implement pointers because pointers are memory locations which stores the address of the another variable. And these addressing modes are also used to pass array as a parameter because array name is the base address and pointer is needed to point the address. So you must remember you have to like learn what are these applications. Next is the relative addressing mode. Relative addressing mode means the content of program counter which is PC that is added to the address part of the instruction just to obtain the effective address right so relative addressing mode it is used for program relocation at runtime that is for position dependent code it can also be used to change the normal sequence of execution of instruction if there is a requirement to change the instructions execution sequence this addressing mode can be used for branch type instructions also because it directly updates the program counter. So these are the applications of relative addressing mode. Next, index addressing mode. Index addressing mode means in the case of in here and addressing mode, the content of an index register, which is the special CPU register that is added to the address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address. So its application you can easily recall for array implementation of array, right? For array implementation or for records implementation. So these are the applications. Next is 
base register addressing mode base register addressing mode here the content of base register is added to the address part of the instructions to obtain effective address right so you must be able to recall what is this addressing mode so this can be used for writing relocatable code or for handling recursive procedures so these are the applications and in the last let us discuss about the auto increment addressing mode and auto decrement addressing mode auto increment and auto decrement means it is similar to the register indirect mode but the content of register is automatically incremented or decremented after the data access it means these types of addressing modes can be used for implementing loops can be used for implementing a stack stack means like push pop or for stepping through array in a loop so these are the various applications of auto increment and decrement addressing mode you must remember all of these applications of addressing mode thank you so much for watching this video